channel. If you are new here, I'm Christina. I do everything with home design and home decor hauls on a budget. So today's video is gonna be a really fun one. I'm doing three high-end DIYs today for you guys using thrift store items and Ross items. All of these DIYs are super affordable and really easy to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe if you're not already. I would love to have you and let's get into it. So these are the stools that I picked up from Ross and I picked up this boucle fabric from Joanne Fabrics for 30% off. These were actually $40 a piece, but I got them on clearance because they were the last two Ottomans. So I got them for $20 a stool. I know, such a good deal. And the trick here is when you are looking for these, make sure you can unscrew the hardware underneath so you're able to cover these stools and remove everything. So I'm just gonna grab my screwdriver here and unscrew the bottom and get all those screws out and make sure to put those aside because you're gonna want to screw them back in after you're done with your project. So I'm gonna unscrew my last screw here and this is such an easy way to upholster stools, just remove all of the hardware, put it aside, take the piece off, and then you have your ottoman ready to go to cover. So now I'm gonna cut my boucle fabric and you just wanna cut just enough so you can cover the stool. You want it to meet each side of the stool just perfectly so you don't have too much extra fabric to cut off in the end. So now this part can be a little tricky. You're gonna want to pull really tight on the fabric around the stool to make sure there's no creases because that's what's gonna make it look really seamless in the end. You're gonna grab your staple gun and you're gonna staple it after you pull really, really tight on the fabric. That's gonna make it really seamless and you're gonna work your way around your stool doing this all the way around. I went back in a couple of times and restapled some areas that had a little bit of bubbling and that's okay, you can do that in the end. So just make sure to work your way around and after you're finished stapling all of the fabric and pulling tight, you're gonna want to cut off all of that excess fabric and this part is really easy to do and just put that aside. Maybe you could use this fabric for a different project and you just wanna remove it all so it looks very seamless. You don't want any of this fabric to be showing underneath your stool when you're finished. So I went back in and just cut off all of the excess and it just turned out so good. I absolutely love these stools, you guys. So affordable, and what's nice is if you ever feel like changing the fabric, you can. That's an option, and it's just a really easy DIY. So I went ahead and put them back in, and I love the way that these turned out. next DIY, I picked up this vase. I know it says $5, but I actually got it for $2. It was on sale at the good um, at the thrift store locally in my town. Picked up these stems, this cute these cute little candle holder sticks, which were a dollar a piece. And I think they're just so beautiful. I got a paintbrush from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna be using all of the paints that I have left on hand in my stash. So next, I'm gonna use black on this piece. I saw a lot of really pretty inspiration photos on Pinterest of a really aged vessel that was black and looked really, really vintage. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this vase a really good coat of black paint. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you cover the entire vase so you're not seeing anything through it. And this vase already had a little bit of black on the bottom, so that made it really, really easy to paint. 
I cannot believe the price of this vase. I absolutely loved the shape of it. And that's a trick, you guys. Just go to your stores locally, thrift stores, Goodwill, any places like that. They always have really beautiful vases for super affordable prices. So I'm gonna go ahead in and I did a second coat of this paint just to make sure it was you know, really covered. Now the next step, you're gonna wanna put on the soil. I'm using soil from my yard. You're gonna wanna use a glove for this. This is gonna give it a lot of texture and give it that kind of lived in vintage look. You're gonna want to apply this while the paint is still wet. So that is the trick here. You don't wanna wait until the paint is dry or it won't adhere to your project. So just go ahead and tap it in. Um, any way you would like and whatever you think looks best. I just kind of tap it in um, sporadically around the vase to give it that kind of lived in look. I will tap it in and I will rub it in just to kind of mix up the pattern. And it gives it kind of like a dirt look. As you can see, it's a little bit lighter in the spots that I'm writing, um, rubbing the soil in and that's gonna give it that really cool look in the end. Next, I'm gonna be using some of this extra paint I got from Walmart, which is 88 cents um, a paint, by the way, you guys. This is called Honey Brown. I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that into my vase. That's gonna give it a little bit more coloration on the vase and more of that vintage look as well. So after you rub it in, you're gonna to wanna to go back in with your paintbrush and kinda of dab over it. Now, that's key to making it look a little bit more authentic, not so, painted on. So this is going to give it that authentic look. Just dab in a little bit of the black over the tan and it's just so beautiful after it dries. I absolutely love, love the way that this one turned out and I just picked up some stems from outside um, locally in our neighborhood and I used those stems that I bought from the Dollar Tree and styled this in my home and I absolutely love the way it turned out. And here's how it looks in my home. Project, I used some of that honey brown mixed with a beige and a taupe paint. I mixed them together and I wanted to give these candle holders more of a boho light aesthetic for my home. So I went ahead and did one full coat over these candle holders. Now I'm not going to do two coats because I'm going to go ahead in and sand them so they look a little bit distressed and still aged, but I just wanted to lighten them up to give them more of that light aesthetic. So one full coat on each candle holder. And I love this light tan color. I feel like it's just so fresh and it goes with my boho vibes. So after I covered both of the candle holders, I just went in with some sandpaper after it dried a little bit and just kind of rubbed in in a couple of spots just to make it look a little bit more distressed and aged and a little bit more vintage, not so painted. And there's no perfect way to do this. Just kind of rub against the edges and the corners on some areas of the candle holders and they will look so authentic in the end. And I love the way that these turned out. So beautiful in my home.
you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know which DIY was your favorite and which one you would recreate in your home. If you're not subscribed to this channel already, I would love to have you guys. Please subscribe, hit that little notification bell. That way you're updated each time I upload and I will catch you guys next week. Bye guys.